what's happening guys welcome back to another episode of red dead redemption 2 and to more stranger encounters my favorite thing to do encountering strangers so we're back at saint denis it's in the middle of the night and uh we actually have a stranger we can meet up with right down here next to this very large house oddly enough saint denis looks quite peaceful and calm at night a, a lot less smog and there's beautiful lights during the day it's very smogish all the coal filling the air and I'm gonna ride my- <laughs> Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Video's off to a great start. <laughs> Napoleon, I've told you, okay, you gotta learn to uh, use some sense. Just because I am controlling you and I say, hey, let's jump off the edge of this, you know, staircase to our death doesn't mean you have to do it. Actually, what am I saying? The horse had common sense. It, it saw the steps and was like, nope, I'm not moving. And then I kept going. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, then. What do we have here? I should not be allowed near a horse. I just don't know how to ride them. Hello? Is there a stranger here? Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's the same place from before, where we had the party. Interesting. I wonder who could be in here. Oh, the door's locked. Who the hell are you? Yes? Uh, I'm, uh... Uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. <laughs> Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Oh, I forgot we had our uh, made-up name from before. Kilgore. Oh, hello, Fancy. friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, oh really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? What? No. Again? I'm sorry. Uh, Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. I bet. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. <laughs> We're not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. Oh, I'm you see, sure. I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. With I money? buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. No. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word what? with him. <laughs> Saint Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Oh, I bet. I mean, technically, you should thank me because I killed the guy that ran your town. So, really, I've just made your life a lot easier. Okay, this is this is really quite the side mission. Just at the end of this avenue, or rather, stranger encounter. Again, I'm so impressed. He's a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. Speed up a little, please. Oh, oh so, sorry, I'm just you know, trying to get to the other I side of the road, excuse me. I on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change, can they not? Oh, definitely. Oh, they change all the time. Of course. Power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. 
Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but uh, Monsieur Lemieux has placed his faith in you. Who looks can be deceiving. Mayor understands just what I can do, I'm sure. Hmm. He even knows our name. The, the name is Kilgore. Huh? Kilgore, not Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Who is this Arthur Morgan character? I'm a persuader of fine arts. There, Mr. Arthur. There. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. <laughs> Wait, what? There's no way that's his last name. <laughs> Professor Shiftaker. Excuse me, sir. I am a, um, a persuader of fine arts. I persuade people that the fine arts is actually the original painting, even though it's actually a poor substitution. I like how the mayor's upset at him for saying the art is fake rather than the person that sold him the fake art. <laughs> All right, now where are you going, Professor Shitface? Oh, you're going down a back alley. That's a terrible idea. There's a lot of shifty characters back here. One of which, of course, is me. That's right, yeah, you keep going. Oh, you're feeling something back of the neck? Well, that's just terrible. Maybe I should karate chop him. Professor? Excuse me. Oh, hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> no! That's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. What? Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait. Oh, wait. oh, that's oh, oh, okay. Make it easy on me. Just sit down on the ground. Oh, what's that? The paintings are fake. Is that what you said? You may want to reconsider. I love art. I couldn't. My reputation. Oh, your reputation is going to really spread once I kill you. you. Think of your reputation when your brain is chilling. <laughs> I'd never be published again. Oh, it's just too bad. Come on now. Your opinion can change. You might want to do it. <laughs> I relent. I relent. Really? You say so? <laughs> you see, Professor? An academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The Good. thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So Indeed. Send the mayor what he needs. Um, because otherwise... I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Have a lovely day, Professor Shitface. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm a patron of the fine arts. I really do enjoy a nice forged painting. Yes, I mean real painting. No fakery happening here. <laughs> All right, well, that was honestly too easy. The man sat down and allowed me to grab his throat. I mean, how weak and simple are you? Professor, my ass, only a dumbass would try something like that. Ah, uh, all right, uh, wait, excuse, oh, oh, there you are, reading the paper. Oh, I see. Anything interesting happening? I just changed his opinion. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after oh. all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. See? I'm a true fan of art. I think I'll use this money and uh, buy a few real paintings of my own. I've always wanted to own a legitimate copy of the Mona Lisa. And of course, that's kind of ironic to say, a <laughs> copy of the Mona Lisa, but still, I think I want to. What? Were you saying something to me? Yeah, you better not. I'm a patron of the arts. I love me some art. That's right, especially nude paintings and sculptures. <laughs> All right, well then, that was actually a lot of fun. Uh, what else do we have? Any more stranger encounters? I'm sure there's quite a lot in this game. And uh, again, I'm so impressed. There's a variety of stranger encounters that really just add to the story and the character development of Arthur Morgan. Ah, Kilgore. The name is Kilgore. Don't get it twisted. 
This Arthur Morgan fellow died a long time ago. I'm Kilgore, a patron of the arts and a uh, big fan of nudity. I in art, of course, tasteful nudity. All right, well, uh, give your boy a few minutes to ride around and try and, f oh, as I say that, we have encountered another stranger right here. Oh, it's Charles. Chante, or Chantene, I don't know how to say his name. Charles invited you to his exhibition at the gallery in Saint Denis. Well, speaking of art, we just got through persuading the professor that every painting is legitimate. And now we're going to go and see this funny French man and uh, see what type of art he has in his exhibition. I'm sure it has a lot to do with nudity. He really believes in nudity for some reason. The only truth in life are breasts, according to him. All right. This is the gallery? Well, uh, or rather this is where he's displaying his art. Doesn't exactly look like the, uh, the, what do they call him again? The, uh, whatever it is in Paris. The place where they, you know, have all the art. Man, my brain really does not want to work right now. <laughs> uh, maybe up here? The salons, right? Salons of Paris? I'm not sure. Okay, all right. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What, you trying to say show? all the art around here so sucks? I'm asking for a refund. Refund? I'm not paying for anything. Uh, Exhibition, you know oil paintings. Are not endorsed by gallery staff. Oh, really? I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, well obviously so that means sure a lot of nudity. Progressive, right? Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. Compose yourself. <laughs> ah, yes, true art. A bird eating some cheese. It really gets the old wheels turning. Makes me think deeply about life, the existence of humans, our purpose. Very nice I indeed. There's clothing on the statue? Oh, boo! That's not progressive. We've got a mother and a child. Another mother and a child. Or this new fancy invention called the camera that's actually not that new at all. By the late 1800s, not so new. Hmm. Oh, you're sipping wine and looking at art. Where's the cheese? You know, cheese, wine, and art. This has to be the like most boring place to spend your time. <laughs> I can't even imagine anything worse. All right. Ah, Charles! And of course it's new to women. Why not? <laughs> Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Oh, Chatonet. Oh, Couldn't I can you tell paint she's upset. some drawers on her? Madame, drawers. <laughs> I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, <laughs> innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. Well, Buddha said that? What? Of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <laughs> oh. Is that your behind? Oh, why would you be shown it to that man? Oh, I wonder That's how wrong. that happened. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh, Stop my. Stop looking at my Scandalous. husband's mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she shouldn't <laughs> expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh come on. Oh. This is no That's right. Fight, come boys. On. Fight, fight. Oh, man, this artist has been busy. Oh, oh. he's getting oh. beaten by a purse. Hey, I'm coming after you, <laughs> Frenchie. Hey. All oh. right. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Come here now. Mm. Oh, you okay. You might get your nice white gloves dirty trying to punch me. I haven't had a bath in a while. Shit, you know what? I don't even know who you are, but you're getting beaten too in the spine. I'm gonna help out my friend here. Oh wait, that's not you, Charles. Excuse me, sir. Just gotta choke you out. I mean, break your neck, sure, why not? And you too, Grandpa. Woo, I'm the victor, baby. The hell? Did he, he also painted a nude man. That is, <laughs> that is not a very flattering painting of whoever's butt that is. Oh my. Very scandalous indeed. This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. What about your, your art? Where I can disappear for a few days. Mm. Now see, Charles, this is why you don't go around painting people's mothers and wives. You're simply just not the brightest of people. No wonder you were never invited to the salons of this Paris. This way. Come on. Okay, following you. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring, huh? 
True. True. Definitely uh, very violent. Push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep oh, yes. provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. <laughs> I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an <laughs> asshole somewhere else for a while. Yes, indeed. Well, I guess that is technically art if it evokes emotions. Here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. Really? The picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is a kick in the balls. <laughs> oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. Mm. Yes, yes, my yes, little, yes. My little bird, it's me. <laughs> what a beggar. <laughs> okay, well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, you never know what's going to happen when you try and hang out with Charles, the insane artist from Paris. Funny little French man, painting naked mamas and naked wives, <laughs> putting them on display in the only art exhibition in all of Saint Denis. He knew he was going to get caught, but again, technically art is supposed to evoke emotions, and well, there were a lot of emotions in that exhibition. A lot of broken noses too. I'm pretty sure I snapped a random guy's neck. <laughs> ah. Well then, that was a lot of fun. Okay, now what else do we have? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna ride around for a little while until a new stranger encounter appears and then we'll do that. Okay, so I actually went online, found a guide showing me the locations of all these stranger encounters that I have not done yet. So uh, there's actually a stranger over here we're going to go meet in just a moment. But before we do that, there's a log cabin here. Well, not a log cabin, but a cabin that has a few outlaws in it. So uh, <laughs> I think you guys know I'm a good upstanding citizen. Arthur Morgan has become an angel that's going to go to heaven. So I should drop in here and uh, clean the place up a bit. Burn the scum out. <laughs> Sounds like they're having a lot of fun. Hey boys, how's it going? Lovely day to die, wouldn't you say? Ho ho! Yeah, that's right, go break your gun out. See what happens. How about you, huh? You want some of this? Don't shoot! Give me one reason why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. All right, all right. Under the pillow on top of my bed. Just take it and get out of here. Get, get out of here? You sure you want to play that game, huh? Sit your ass down. Oh, I lost. I lost honor for that. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, he was a criminal. Couldn't let him get away, right? Under the, oh, under the pillow of his bed. Here we go. Kind of feel bad, but I mean, then again, he was an outlaw, so he deserved it. Now, what did he have under here? Money. All right, all right. Sorry about that, boys. Oh, you lost your head. And you lost your head, too. How about you? And you lost your head as well. Tut, 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 everyone lost their head. That's what happens, boys. You can't panic and lose your head. It, it ends in death. All right, I think I'll just help myself to all of this. We got some sausage. Mmm. Couple of headless bodies. Let me go on and loot these guys. All in all, I did a good thing for society, right? Thank you, boys. I'll let you get back to your game of poker or whatever you were doing. No, not poker. Arguing over bourbon, I suppose. All right, well then. You know, maybe I should try and burn the evidence. <clears throat> Can you burn the evidence? I wonder. I mean, obviously not. It'd be kind of cool if I could just burn the log cabin down. Again, it's not a log cabin, but whatever. Later, boys! It's a lovely time at your party! You know a party's good when you leave four bodies. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go meet with this stranger and see exactly what he needs. Obviously, he's going to need something. Everyone needs something from Arthur. He's sort of like a jack-of-all-trades. He can kill people, help people, do things. He's even a patreon of the arts. Uh... Uh, uh, okay, um, are you part of a circus or something? What, what, what the hell is happening here? Hello, ma'am. I see you, uh, had a little collision. A little bit of an accident. Woman with mustache. Uh, what hello the there. are you looking at? Well, I'm looking at your mustache. Okay, it's obviously a dude. Oh, excuse me. <gasps> Can never assume genders. It's a human with the mustache that normally would what be a man. What are you looking at? Hello there. I'm sorry. What happened? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How Indeed. so? It's a disaster. 
Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now oh, running away from the, the army, are we? We'll have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. True. True. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. <laughs> you see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What? what? Escaped? Oh. A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the what? slopes of the Hindu heights. Tiger? A fantastic, elusive zebra. A zebra? From the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just <laughs> roaming around. Exactly. <laughs> if, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. Oh? All right. Madam? It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Whatever you say, dude. You know, Margaret. if you're trying to uh, sell the illusion Mr. of you being a woman wrangler, wrangler I think you need some, uh, oh, how can I say this? Uh, uh, boobies. And also, most women don't have mustaches. Hmm, okay, well then, it looks as though we are going to be rustling up some wild creatures. You know, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, out here, there's a lot of people that like to hunt, and a lot of people that want trophies, and a lion, a tiger, and a zebra would be perfect trophies for somebody's mantle. Hopefully that hasn't happened. Okay, let's go find this zebra, as he said. Zebra. Z, not zebra. I'm joking. Obviously, that's how a lot of people say it. Let's go find the zebra. And uh, I only have one question. How were you able to get such exotic creatures over the ocean into North America? Sure, you may find a zebra, lion, and tiger in a zoo, but just randomly here by yourself as part of an act, that must have taken a lot of money, a lot of time. I feel bad for the creatures. A zebra, a lion, and a tiger should be free to roam. Stretch their legs, do what animals do, but instead they're caged up in a small cart. How in the hell did he flip those wagons anyway? He must have been exceeding the speed limit. Nevertheless, let's go find this zebra. You know, there's not many outlaws that could say they ride a zebra. Huh, yeah, that's a thought. If I had the option to keep the zebra as my own personal horse, I would do it. That would be really cool. My form of transportation, the zebra. Watch out for Arthur Morgan, the most dangerous outlaw in the Wild West, riding his zebra. Sorry, I'm on a mission to find a tiger, a lion, and a zebra. Trying to help out Margaret, the woman with no boobies and a mustache. That's gonna be a hard illusion to sell. He would need a lot of paint. Or her, it, them, they. Okay, the zebra should be over here. It shouldn't be too hard to spot a zebra, right? Stripey looking horse. Oh, zebra, where are you? Don't see it. Is that a... That's not a zebra, right? A wait, actually? No, it is. Hello there, zebra. There we go. You're not going anywhere. Naughty little zebra. Oh, and you're so dirty. Aw, poor creature. It looks like you haven't had a, a, a bath in a long time. Not that wild zebras would ever have a bath, but still, if you're going to captive or captivate an animal, captivate, that's not the word I'm looking for. If you're going to basically enslave an animal for uh, your show in the circus, the least you can do is to wash it every now and again. Although you do have a lot of energy. All right, come on, chop, chop. Move, zebra, goddamn. If you don't start moving, you're gonna end up on my mantle as a trophy. Okay, well this is going to take a while, so uh, give me a moment here and uh, we'll go deliver this zebra to Margaret. Aha, here we are. I am so sorry, zebra, you're so adorable. I'd love to keep you as my personal form of transportation, but I have a feeling you belong to this 
very weird human. Sorry about that. A life of slavery for a beautiful zebra. It's not ideal. Oh my god. Nope. Gotcha. Woo! That was nearly a mistake. Oh no. No, no, no. Zebra. 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 Z zebra. Good grief. You found him. Our zebra. <laughs> well, you can't call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear. You're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience. Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the lord of the stage. Dreams and reality. <laughs> what is the greatest <laughs> conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There, in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, <laughs> as, long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Okay, then, we're going to go find a lion, or rather a tiger. And the assistant has taken the lion so that he can lend a paw. Well then, you know, I'm not exactly an expert on wild creatures, but um, I have a feeling there's a bit of a tricky, oh, I don't know, uh, method of trying to capture a tiger. Or rather, there's probably a, a correct procedure to track down a tiger where I will not end up with a thousand scratch marks all over my body and bleeding to death. I guess there's only one way to do this. Let's just go find the tiger. Again, how did you manage to transport these animals without a terrible catastrophe happening? And then when your catastrophe happened, oh my God, can I properly mark the map? There we go. And then when your catastrophe happened, it happened out here in the middle of nowhere. Incredible, that's why you don't speed when you have an entire collection of wild animals. I'm rambling, let's go find this tiger. Whoa, excuse me, whoa, boys, whoa. I'm on a mission. I'm trying to find a wild tiger, okay? Trust me, you do not want to try and interfere with my mission of taking down a wild tiger. Do you really want to be clawed to death? Oh my god, oh, he's on foot. That's a dumb idea. <laughs> well then, <clears throat> a minor inconvenience. Really just an annoyance, but uh, you know what? It's fine. I had to sharpen my skills as a, a, a killer just in case this tiger is very uncooperative. You never know with tigers, they could be uncooperative. Let's break out my rope so I can lasso this beast. Oh, okay, there's his assistant. Now, where's the tiger? Tigers do like to pounce. Hello there, sir. Hi, oh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen hey, this mister. tiger? Oh, yes. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? No. Nah. I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't he? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> Say what? Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. So it's just a shrub. big dog. I got okay. It. Why are you not the woman that wrangles the wild animals? Why is it Margaret? Hmm. It's unfair. I think you could do a, a very good job of wrangling wild animals. All right. Come here, boy. Dog can't hear me through the video game, but still. Or maybe it's not a dog, maybe it's actually a lion. Oh, there's the trail. Got the trail. Come here, boy. These are paw prints. 
Okay, he went this way. Is it an actual lion or is it a uh, a dog? Looks like back blood to me. Oh, okay, never mind. It's an actual lion. And the lion seems to be hungry. It would be kind of cool though to have a lion as a pet. What's this? A lot of upkeep, but oh. Looks like claw marks. Possibly? Or is that blood? No, those are claw marks, right? Oh. Oh, it's a doggy. Oh, oh no. Found your dog. X dog X line. Hey boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. She says it so well, calmly. You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <laughs> That's so sad. No. It killed the doggy. I'm going to put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that wall. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> up. oh wow, it really went to town. Poor doggy. No. She won't be too far away. All right, wait beside the animal a handler. I can't read, my god. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's hmm. what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, oh. I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Wait a minute, are these painted animals? That's a cougar that's supposed to look like a, oh my God. Oh. What about your shysters? She's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Shut the cougar in the wagon. Oh my god. I I thought they had actual exotic animals. Right, let's go lock this thing. Woo! Stay in there. Don't you dare come out. Carefully, carefully, Arthur, don't lose a hand. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right. You are a vicious creature. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure! You know, you guys are gonna die trying this, right? Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all, if we was going this slow, we might not have lost those animals to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is, this comes easy. Indeed. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. <laughs> hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and you can probably tell in this field he's the ace of spades. Really? The card, all right. It's the my Joker. Hope one day to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? <laughs> I hope so. Top five at least. Depends sure. on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Yeah, you never know. Doesn't seem as though Mr. Margaret's doing a very good job. So I'm kind of confused. If this is a, uh, a cougar painted up to look like a lion, or a tiger rather, and the lion was nothing more than a dog with a fancy haircut, does that mean the zebra is just a painted horse? <laughs> oh man, you guys are running a double scam. World's bravest, uh, not lion tamer, but world's bravest, um, what, did, what did they call him again, Margaret? Um, not tamer, 
um, handler, whatever. Point is that the woman is actually just a man dressed up to look like a woman. And the wild animals aren't actually the wild animals people think they are. It's a, it's a cougar, not a tiger. It's a dog, not a lion. Although I don't see how anyone could ever fall for that scam. That would have to be the world's most smallest malnourished lion to ever exist. Lions are huge. And this thing just, it's so small. But then again, who knows? People may have been fooled very easily back in the day. Anyway, let's uh, double time back to Margaret. And then bust him for this terrible scam. Here, when oh. the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go, whole caravan toppled. Found a ah. and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. But now they're back. Solo, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. <laughs> yes, plus I'm trying to not lose a hand to a cougar that's supposed to be a, well, a tiger. Again, who would fall for this scam? Probably either people that are very blind or very stupid. Okay, well, I didn't have to actually cut. We're, we're here. There it is, the caravan. Fantastic. If you wanted to. Mr. Margaret. Aha. Uh -huh. I see you found each other. Sure did, Indeed. Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. And you good. lost your dog. No, I, I mean, lion. Feather and a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're going to want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. <laughs> Speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway line, or are you going to pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not royal command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. The monetizable type. Be or monetary. Fix me a gin. Okay, so hold up. They have an actual lion? Is this a real lion? Or is this a very small dog with a, a lion's mane? Or rather, a haircut to look like a lion's mane? All right, I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> I like how he's yelling at his father. Daddy, damn you, you were right. Well, you know what? You should have gone into business elsewhere. Somewhere that makes money and you don't have to wear a dress and pretend to be... Well, uh, wrangling wild creatures. Okay, where the hell is this, uh... Oh, here we go. All right, Emerald Ranch. Uh, Margaret said that the lion was spotted in Emerald Ranch. Well, 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 all right then. Let's ride to Emerald Ranch. All right, here we are, Emerald Ranch. Got my shotgun out just in case this lion happens to be a little hungry. Barn. Oh, shit, they've got it trapped in there. I am holding it. Hey, 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 boys, I'm here to help. Do you have a lion in there? What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature cursed in here! Cursed creature. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. It looks like a lion to me. Lion? A dog in there. Dog? Now, you excuse me. Okay, so it is a dog. Step Come on, aside. boys, move! What? There's no need to be I scared. Said step aside. My name's Arthur Morgan, bravest man here! That's right, go on, step aside. <laughs> Bunch of scaredy cats. Come on, move, get out of the way, you big coward. Yeah, boy. <laughs> what if it's an actual lion? <laughs> oh, no shit. Lion, no Come on, boy. Oh, wow, that's a big pile of shit. Let's this go. may actually be a lion. Here, boy. Come on, be a good lion. Oh! Oh god, that scared the hell out of me. Investigate the disturbance. What the hell happened? Look what you've done. Look 
Look what, what you've done! Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. I think that may actually be a lion. Find the lion. Unless that's the meanest dog to... Oh, my God. Woo! No, it's a lion. It's an actual lion. And it's a lion that likes to kill for no reason. Oh, okay. Hold up. Come here, you naughty lion. Running around, just killing for no reason. Bad lion. It killed another... Sweet. Oh! <laughs> Simba. Bad Simba. Yeah, that, that'll definitely work. Shit. Oh! Oh no, I've gotta kill the lion! No! I love lions! But I like being alive a lot more. Okay. Well then. We just killed an actual lion. They are not gonna be happy about that. Oh sure, I'll just take the paw. Why not? Um... Does anyone want a lion as a trophy? <laughs> that beast got some answering to do. Oh, I agree. I agree. Wow, okay. I really didn't expect it to be an actual lion, but um I never yeah. seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. Bunch of cowards. I kinda wish I could uh skin him. But uh oh well. Move. Okay then. Wow, they are really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point in an illusion, an act purely made of illusion, if one of your creatures actually is a lion? Why not just go full 100% sin? Lion, tiger, an actual zebra, instead of everything being a painted normal animal, and then you have an actual lion. Ooh, and that wasn't even a tame lion, that was a full on wild, angry, pissed off lion. Oh, Margaret, you are gonna have to run straight to Africa to avoid all the angry people at Emerald Ranch. There was like, what? A couple cows killed, a couple horses, a few ranch hands. Woo! Dangerous pet to have. Ah, uh, yeah, so about your actual real lion that I thought was a dog but turned out to be a real lion that was angry and pissed and killed a bunch of people? Well, I kinda had to shoot it. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eaten lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I'd known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rama, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! Really? You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. Right. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Why do I Sorry, feel like that's a fake moving. emerald? Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really need to be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Or you'll be on some lion's feast. Okay, so we got an actual emerald? Aw, oh, the poor lion. No! Aw, oh, lions are so cute. Vicious, but cute. Okay, well then, you know, I should take this wagon. It would be perfect for storing Dutch in it. Anytime he wants to do something insane, him and Micah, hey boys, you know, I hear there's a bunch of gold in here. They crawl in, shut it. And then we take them to an actual lion. <laughs> uh, do I still have the lion's foot? I, I do. Lion's paw, a paw from a lion. Okay, can be used in crafting. Interesting. So does that mean I can hunt other lions elsewhere? And we've, uh, well, of course, have an emerald. I wonder how much that's worth. 
Hmm. I guess we'll find out later. Okay, well, that was a very interesting stranger encounter. <laughs> Probably one of the weirdest ones thus far. And uh, do we have any more stranger encounters on the map? I mean, obviously, I'll have to look at the guide to find out where they are. But uh, yeah, so far, I am loving the stranger encounters. They are just so fun. They add so much, I don't know, extra content to the game. It, just uh, a way to make the game spicier, I guess. So for now, I'm going to try and ride around and find the next stranger encounter. And I believe... We go to progress and total completion. Strangers, eight of 10. So we have two more strangers to encounter. Let's go find our next stranger. All right, so uh, I have found another stranger deep in the wilderness, and it's time for us to go talk to him. Okay, then. Again, I, I've said this before, but I am so impressed with the beauty of this game. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. It almost makes me want to go out into nature, but then I think about how cold it is, and there's mosquitoes, bugs, lions, snakes, all sorts of insanity. Well, maybe not lions, but uh, yeah, nature is not exactly the place I want to be, unless it's in a video game. Either way, we have another stranger over here. It's time for us to go introduce ourselves, and I'm sure uh, help the person out. Now, what's happening here? Oh, you're a photographer! And you're photographing a bag. Okay. Tell me, will you need me to go out and hunt down a lion or something like that? Because I have killed enough cute creatures today. What is happening? Who's talking? Hello there, my fine photographer friend. Taking a picture of a bag, I see. Well, may I suggest a better subject? Arthur Morgan, craziest wild outlaw of the Wild West. Hello. Oh, I know. Don't have a heart attack. Hello. I am ugly. Quite a day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have oh. to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself <laughs> to the lions. Y you don't want to say that. Stand I just, here. I just killed a lion. Here? Just... They're scary. There. Oh! Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. Am I the subject? I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. I've got Not a lion's foot. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and... Oh, they don't mistake the coyote. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's got the bag. Don't worry. Ah, here I am, Arthur Morgan, here to save the day. Come here, you sneaky coyote. Boy, being a wildlife photographer back in the day with one of those fiddly old cameras must have been a real challenge. Even when they were photographing people standing still, most of the time the picture would turn out blurry <laughs> and overexposed. Come here, you little sneaky thief. You're really fast. Drop the bag. Yeah, drop the bag. You heard me. I've already killed enough cute creatures today. I don't want to have to put you on that list. Come here. Come here, you mangy mutt. Give me the damn bag. Oh, did he drop it? Yes, he did. Thank you, Mr. Coyote. The last thing I wanted to do is kill you. You're just too damn cute. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Hmm. Okay. Return the bag to Mr. Mason. Yeah, again, there's something about photography that's very interesting, especially old photographs. I love old photographs, like uh, pictures of the Civil War or World War I or New York City back in like the 1900s. It, it's just, it's interesting. It's like a, a glimpse into the past. It's like traveling back in time. You see a picture of someone from, I don't know, 1899, and at one point they were alive and they've been frozen in a picture, you know? It's, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's like time traveling. I just love it. I wonder what they were thinking at the time when they had their picture taken. Who knows? Well, I'm weird. Well. Got your back. <sighs> oh, thank you, thank you, sir. No trouble Backs at all? full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize <laughs> I am a fool. Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. 
No trouble at all. Again, I'm not sure how you're going to be able to capture a photograph of a swiftly moving animal with one of those old school cameras. Time to attract any wildlife, huh? Need some privacy. Privacy. Oh, aren't you just the most educated fancy man? Okay, well, I'll leave you to your wildlife photography. Actually, you know, it may not be wildlife photography, but I could drag in a lion corpse, right? If you want a dead lion, we'll just prop it up and open its mouth and then move its eyes around a little bit to make it look like it's still alive. No one would know the difference. As long as we cover up the one paw that got chopped off. You could capture a lion attacking a man. Everyone would be like, oh, no way, that's insane. Little do they know the lion's actually dead. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. Okay, well then, that was a very short and fun mission. You know what? Let's go to Dover Hill. Is that what it was called, Dover Hill? Um, yeah, Dover Hill. Remember our uh, weird friend, the man that was trying to sell, what was it he, he called it, the, uh, the stuff of life or whatever, and he had the little RC boat? Apparently we can drop by Dover Hill and see his laboratory. Photography is not that interesting to the Yes, user. yes, I know it's not that interesting. It's very boring. So uh, let's go to Dover Hill and see if we can meet up with our crazy professor friend. So uh, yeah, let's go. All right. So uh, it's currently nighttime. It is pouring rain, and uh, I believe the professor is over here. Yes, the mission has showed up. Okay, Marco invited you to visit him at his lab on Dover Hill. Well then, oh damn, what a, what a bolt of lightning, Jesus. Hope I don't get struck out here. Then again, maybe I wanna get struck. Perhaps I'll get some type of superpower. Arthur Morgan, man of electricity, zap. That'd be a great way to take down Dutch. What am I talking about? All right, let's go check out the mad scientist's laboratory in Dover Hill. Well, hello, hello! Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Talk about a madman's lab. Is that a giant Tesla coil? It's definitely not a Tesla coil, but uh, this place is really cool. Why do I feel like this is the type of place that Dr. Frankenstein created his monster? It's alive! Once lightning strikes. All right, crazy professor. What's going on here? Oh, hello? Professor? What type of sorcery is happening here? Oh my. Professor? Hello? Oh yeah, he's creating a monster. Frankenstein's monster, right in there. Are you creating your own girlfriend? Hello? She comes alive when there's a thunderstorm. If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Really? Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I, um, I helped you at the pond. You did. <laughs> Oh, you did! <laughs> In the buffoon! <laughs> Hello! Now that's not very nice. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up! Me? No, but I did. I oh. can't get the bloody conductor straight. What? Well... It is uh, the geometry of life, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> yes, I understand what you're talking it's about. Just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take this. Oh well, uh, I'm not much. Of a... Scientist. Well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but what? you make a, a fine buffoon. You You're... better watch out. This buffoon can punch you in the face. And I will you liquefy your organs. Have the detector in your hands. The filament flashes when it points at the locations for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and Plant conductor rod where filament goes solid. When all okay. three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod, and we harness power of nature to make life. 
She is actually mad. <laughs> yes, I think we found Dr. Frankenstein. He's creating life in his laboratory. Yes, he is. He's found several dead women, cut them up into bits, and then sewn them together to make one functioning female girlfriend. That has to be it. Okay, over here. Am I gonna get struck by lightning? Listen, Professor, you better not let your boy get struck by lightning. I will be very upset. All right, the filament is glowing. Ah! There we go. One lightning conductor placed. Yes, 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 whatever you say. Why, well, thank you, Professor. Mm. Oh, what? What the hell does that mean? I swear, if I get struck by lightning, we are going to have serious problems. The end of Arthur Morgan. Not in a shootout, but being struck by lightning. All right, we're getting closer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. whoa! This is scary. It's a good thing Arthur has nerves of steel. Come on. Oh! Oh, get me out of here. Why am I risking my life so he can make a girlfriend out of stitched together body parts? Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Don't say that. You're not dead yet, knock on wood. Come on. What is this? Really? Yeah, I could feel something, but I think that's lightning about to strike me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. called it. Okay, we're getting closer. Why am I doing this? You know, Arthur, once you discovered you have tuberculosis, you don't have to go out there and risk your life for every hoodlum. I mean, seriously, we are really putting ourselves at risk here, trying to help out... Oh, ah, up there. Trying to help out the most random people. This man called you a buffoon. A buffoon, you are not a buffoon. You are a very nice, intelligent human being that does not want to die. The last thing we want to do is be found as a crispy, charred piece of bacon on the ground. Oh, careful, careful, my boy. Okay. Oh. The ground's wet. Arthur, I think you need some new boots. It is kind of cool, though. I must admit, thunderstorms are both spooky, but also very, very cool to look at. Oh! Assuming you don't get struck by lightning. God damn! Yes, I am there. Oh, I'm returning double time as well. Return to Marco. Dragic? Dragic? I don't know how to say his last name. He has a very strange name. I can't speak. I'm going to call him Frankenstein instead. A lot of people think Frankenstein was the name of the monster, but uh, it was actually the scientist. At least I think so. Either way, this man is Frankenstein. And I really need to know what that giant coil's for. Maybe it's to harness the energy of a lightning strike. Mm. Why do I feel like he's creating a zombie in his laboratory? <laughs> Can you imagine? The first documented case of a zombie being created. All right. Uh, aim detector. Wait, what? For what? Detector, detector. Uh, oh, I guess I don't need that. All right, let's go back into the laboratory. All right, professor. Surprise, I'm not dead. Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What well, now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. We're creating a like zombie. This. Oh, God. Okay, it's not alive. Whew. Am I missing something? Ah. 
the switches, the bloody switches. Okay. Uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go How on, about no? Please. That thing is a conductor of electricity. The last thing I want to do is be up there. It's bad enough that I was holding electric rods out there, but I mean, come on, this thing is huge. All right, Arthur. If you feel the hair on your body standing on end, you need to die for it because you're about to be struck by lightning. True. It's very true. We almost got this. What is he talking about? He's going to be the second creature next to God to bring life? Or bring something to life? What is he bringing to life? This one seems to be off. Ow, oh, brother. Okay, that one's on. Let's try this. Hmm. Well, now this doesn't seem normal. All right, maybe this one? These two were originally on anyway. Hey! Oh! Okay, I said I didn't want to get fried. I hope this monster you're bringing to life is worth it. Okay, Arthur died. You may break some bones, but it's better than being fried. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! It's working! It's working! <laughs> Come down here, quick! Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> Pretty sure I singed my eyebrows. No, they're gone. Yep, they're completely gone. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Do I need a shotgun? It's a robot? Oh, that's even worse than a zombie. You can't kill robots. They're made of metal. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> no, I'm joking. What the hell? Okay, now how would this work? My son lives! What are you using for a brain? What is it? It is life itself. Morons who doubted me. It is me and you. <laughs> Isn't he No, he's horrific. <laughs> ah. oh. I'm sorry, buddy. It's just not meant to be. For now. I am so <laughs> right. Oh, right. You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> Is that I what I witnessed? Just saw a machine bottle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. So, uh, are you and your son gonna play baseball? <gasps> it is me, Pops. Let's go play some baseball. All right, then. Well, I could have sworn he was making a girlfriend, but, uh, no, that's that. Guess that wasn't his first thought. If I were gonna try and bring something to life, I would make, you know, a girlfriend, right? It's the only way I'm gonna get one. But my point is, that's what I would be doing. Him? No, he wants a son. A robot son. Now, how the hell would that work? No AI, no brain, no software. How is it gonna run? <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, something we'll have to figure out later on. Okay, Mr. Mad Scientist over here created life. It waddled a few steps and then plop, fell dead. Maybe it needs, you know, it needs a few extra springs, some screws, who knows, a gyroscope. If robots need gyroscopes, I honestly have no idea what I'm saying right now. And we've got a few bounty hunters. They must have seen the, uh, the electric strike. Electric strike? The lightning strike. There we go. English, it's very hard. Oh my god, what are you guys doing over here? Sorry, Professor, I'm gonna have to take these guys down. They may be here to try and steal your invention. Nope. Mm -mm. His secrets are safe. You will not steal his stuff before he can patent it. All right, well, that was very interesting. Again, I was not expecting something that uh, unique and fun. 
robots in Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> a mad scientist? I love how this game did not hold back. They just went straight insane on everything. There's such a variety of content in this game. I love it. Oh, the artist way. We have another mission with Charles. Who's this damsel in distress? Well, let's go find out what the little silly Frenchman has gotten himself into. All right, here we are, beautiful Saint Denis. Now tell me, Charles, what mischief have you found yourself in today? At first, he was in an exhibition full of women that he painted in the nude. Oh my God, really? My friend, it is me, Charles. Nice disguise. The painter. Okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, <laughs> I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad <laughs> as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away, we will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis, they say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. Follow me, madame. You know, I've never seen a woman with so much chest hair before. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're a silly little man. I know those men. Oh, I shot on that bar. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. <behind here. laughs> what? Okay, all right, this man is just, mm, he's not all there. Lovely lady, am I right? Try and keep your hands off of her. She's got chest hair, and lots of it. <laughs> oh boy, that disguise is bad. Follow me. Following you. Those fellas, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. <laughs> Come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Really? Remind me to avoid that place. How does one even take a shit on a bar like that? I mean, how could you get that far? Surely when they see you squatting down on the bar, they're gonna stop you. See money lenders. We go another way. A man owes money. But, oh, we see, they know you're a man. Great disguise. What's this? <gasps> Quickly! <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Your mustache is tickling me. I thought I knew him. Oh, right. You just wanted to smudge from Arthur. Can't Please blame you. Do that again. Okay, I'm moving. Come on. <laughs> this man is so crazy. <laughs> Good morning to you. So morning. Wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of failures. Not so much. The new kinds? The holy nephew. We go through there. If you say so. You really should have shaved before trying to dress up as a woman. Just saying. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere this guy is blind. Want, <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for hitting on innocent women, pervert. <laughs> I think you kind of scarred him for life. He thought you were a hot damsel, and then he saw your chest hair. <laughs> now he's got PTSD. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the Hush, Kate, I may know these people. But Do you know everyone? A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint-Denis, after all. What are you looking at? <sighs> Bar shit, money borrowing, wife stealing. Well, you sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate yeah. love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? Who's my impropriety? A mediocre life is meaningless. Hey, a bold right. life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. That is something that matters. Oh, look. Look at you, pretty little thing. 
If only he knew. I know, boys. Come on. Come on You're really man. eating this up, huh? You like the attention. Yeah, yeah, she's a pretty lady. She's probably got a bigger dong than you, too. So how are you going to be in a place that's not civilized? And then sell your art? Many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. Hmm. Hopefully you haven't slept with the captain's wife. That would be quite embarrassing. Oh, fancy ship. We made it. Let's go. Oh my god. What? Okay. All right. Come here, bud. Oh, damn. Arthur, you... There we go. I was about to say, Arthur, you gotta get some punches in. Oh, they've got a knife? Woo! Okay, all right, all right. Hold up, boys, hold up. You wanna fight like that? All right, ooh, I can fight dirty. Oh, come here, big boy. And now, I'm gonna just give you some room to breathe. Charles, Woo. come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. My words, you really are a cowboy. Now I have no choice <laughs> but to leave her. Yes. You're welcome, ma'am. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. <laughs> Pile of bodies in the background. Now, why did they decide to attack me? I'm not the crazy artist. Oh, boy. Crime reported. All right. Well, uh, it's time for me to get a bath. woo hoo hoo, -hoo! Nothing to see here, boys. Just swimming away. He makes no sense. Charles wants to go somewhere far away from civilization to be an artist. But if you're far away from civilization, art really can't be appreciated. Art's one of those things that people need to have money and a lot of time to appreciate. Also, I think I might be drowning. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Arthur. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Yeah, I think I might actually drown. Come on, reach the ladder. Uh, let's take some cocaine chewing gum. There we go. And let's just stop and have a tin of that garbage, whatever that is. I'm, I'm so gonna die. Oh my God, I'm so gonna die. Come on, Arthur. You got this, buddy. Have some beans. Oh, oh, the ladder's right there. Oh, I didn't realize swimming was such a challenge for Arthur. Good Lord. Okay, I think it's time for me to hide over here and just uh, regenerate some of my health and stamina. God damn. Arthur, you gotta work on a cardio, my man. You nearly died swimming. Unless the water's toxic. Who knows? But yeah, how is Charles going to go to a place that's not civilized and be an artist when people are most likely poor and don't have the money to appreciate art? Who knows? He's a very strange little French man. Later, my friend. All right, well, let's go find another stranger. Okay, so I've returned to Dover Hill. Apparently, according to this uh, guide, there's a Easter egg waiting for me here. So, uh, I kind of want to check it out. This place is so cool. I love it. Was not expecting a weird Frankenstein, Nazi scientist vibe uh, laboratory in Red Dead Redemption, but I can't complain. Now, where's the scientist at? Hello, Doc. What? Uh, okay, the robot's gone. Oh my God, holy shit. Come on out, you bucket of bolts. Where are you? Oh, oh, okay. It looks like you were able to animate your son. He came to life and killed you. Oh God. Ah! I'm joking, I'm not scared of a bucket of bolts. It has no brain, it can't stop me. What the hell is this? Electric lantern? Okay. Aw, oh, poor professor. He was so excited to have a son. And then he lost his son. Or rather, a son killed him. What is this? A note. Well, that's a very sad Easter egg. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's what you get for messing with the stuff of creation. Mm. Invisible waves, ghost waves, mystery waves, magic waves, waves you cannot see. Okay, he was obviously trying to come up with a name for electricity, right? That is so freaky. Holy shit. <sighs> I'm very, very concerned. Did the thunderstorm already stop? Well, that was fast. 
Aw, oh, poor professor. He just wanted his son to play catch with. That's all. He wanted to play baseball with his son, and his son turned on him because he had no soul or a brain. He was nothing but a bucket of bolts with electrical charge. Again, I love this laboratory. It is so badass looking. Oh, we have another note. Now, what is this? Five years, one automaton. Is that right? Automaton. Automa met, aut, aut, I can't read. Automaton. I guess that's what it is. I have no idea. Uh, receive funding, win top scientist prize. Six years, two automatons, make automaton factory. Ten years, 100 automatons, become very rich. Ah, these were his plans for the future. Poor guy, he died. We have a silver pocket watch. I'm not going to take that. I, uh, I have enough money. Oh, this place is so cool. There's his bed. Ah, poor professor. I can smell the dust and machine oil now. A piston powered electrical device of some sort. Or maybe something that generates an electric current. Very cool indeed. A lot of gadgets, doohickeys, whatchamacallits. He was very advanced. A, uh, a movie projector. A telephone. Holy crap, he was really advanced. A typewriter. A fan. Premium cigarettes. Mm -mm -mm. If his crazy robot invention didn't kill him, the cigarettes surely would. Well, Professor, I'm sorry that you died, but that's why you don't try and be God. When you try and be God, you'll get killed. It just happens. Okay, uh, I wonder if I can find the robot. Well, we have, a, we have a bounty hunter trying to find us. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I have to reference the guide. Oh, so sad, though. The robot killed him. Are there any more clues left lying around? Maybe... We could find some heavy footprints in the mud. Giant robot prints. You see anything, Napoleon? No! Sorry, I'll kill myself. All right, well, I don't exactly see any way uh, the robot could have gotten away. Or rather, I don't see a path where the robot was walking. That's crazy. He was actually able to get it to come to life. And of course, the first thing a robot wants to do when it has life is to kill things, obviously. All right, well, uh, give me a few moments here. There's bound to be a way to track the robot down, right? Maybe. No, that's just an electric lamp. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking perhaps it would show me the way, but nope, it doesn't. Give me one second. Okay, well, that's kind of odd. Apparently, I go back to the very beginning of the game in the mountains where the snow was, and I can find the robot there. My God, oh, okay, and I'm being hunted. Listen, I'm not the one that killed the scientist. Mm. Oh, you are missing your head. No, you're not. Now you're dead, but still not missing your head. The shotgun is not as deadly as I thought. Let's try and get up close. There we go. That's how it's done. It's like skiing shoot. Or skiing shoot. I can't even speak English. What is wrong with me? It's like shooting ski, only their heads. Fine. So yeah, apparently we go back to the beginning of the game, the first act of the game, and in the mountains, somewhere in the snow, we can find the robot. I mean, I, I know the professor was trying to breathe life into it. Not really breathe life into it, but I guess electrify the machine. But my goodness, he, he went overkill. This thing has speed. It went from Dover Hill all the way over here somewhere. It can book it. It's got some insane speed. It's like the Usain Bolt of robots. What the hell happened here? I, uh, I think we have found a meteorite location, or a comet. No, a comet never hits the Earth, right? This is a meteorite. I really should go back to school. It's a giant rock. A space rock. Very cool. And of course, Arthur's an artist. Sketching. That's really cool. Okay, what does it say? Found a rock that had fallen from the heavens. All right, all right. You know, Arthur, you might want to get into the scientific field. You're a genius. I mean, not really, but um, I think it'd be kind of cool to sound like an outlaw, but to actually be a scientist. Definitely would not fit. 
All right, I have a very long ride ahead of me. So um, I guess I'll see you guys when I get to the snow-capped mountains and hopefully a killer robot doesn't try and take me down. Okay, here we are, the snow-capped mountains. Home sweet home, where the game began. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this snow. Don't get me wrong, I hate the cold and certain manly bits of my body also hates the cold, but there's just something about the winter time, the snow that makes me so happy. It reminds me of Christmas. There is nothing cozier than having a cup of hot cocoa next to a blazing fire while it's snowing. It's very nice, very toasty. Okay, so apparently the robot is somewhere around this mining outpost in the, uh, in the hill somewhere. And the way we can locate the robot is to use our electric lantern and it'll start to uh, blink furiously or something like that when we're getting close. It's currently not really blinking. Th there's one question I have. Why did the robot decide to go into the snow-capped mountains? Maybe it likes the cold, who knows? Maybe it likes its robot nipples being nice and hard. Not quite sure. Then again, it is just a robot. It's not, well, is it a robot? I'm not really sure. It's a bucket of animated bolts. So maybe it really didn't have a, uh, a plan. Maybe it just wanted to get out into nature. Who knows? Okay, let's go into first person, which oddly enough, I haven't done yet. Okay, it's kind of hard to see this. Um, nope, that's not what I want, hold up. First person. The light's not flickering. Perhaps up here? Oh. Come on out, little robot. Now tell me, why did you kill your daddy? That wasn't very nice. You know, your father just wanted to create you so he could play a game of baseball. That's all. He just wanted to play baseball with his bucket of bolts robotic son and you went and killed him. That was really not very nice of you. Whoa, careful, Napoleon. Hmm. Okay, I'm not quite sure where the hell I'm supposed to go. Um, there's the mining outpost. I'm pretty sure that's where we were at the beginning of the game. Perhaps, oh, the light's turning red, right? Let me get off my horse, hold up. There we go, that's much better. Oh, oh, the light changes. Okay, maybe red is a, is a sign that we're getting warmer. Let's head over here. And hopefully we can find our little robot friend. And also hopefully he doesn't decide to rip my face off. For some reason robots always turn killer when, they be, uh, when they're granted life. It makes no sense. You would think a robot would be happy. You know what's kind of freaky? I was watching uh, the Elon Musk Joe Rogan podcast. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Joe Rogan's podcast where he interviewed Elon Musk. And the way Elon Musk talks about AI, it's kind of creepy. It's like once AI becomes, oh, sentient, it's kind of hard to stop it. Who knows? Okay, I have to find a way up here. Uh, maybe I need my horse. Give me one moment, I've gotta find how to get up there. Assuming that, oh, hold up. Maybe, is that our friend over there? Of course I don't have my binoculars, do I? Nope. Um, what is up there? Is that the robot? No, that could just be a rock. Okay, this may take me a while, so when I find it, I will be back. Oh, 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 hold up. So, uh, I just found some tracks. Maybe this is where the robot went. Interesting, the, uh, the lantern is somehow connected to the robot. Maybe it's outputting a power source that's interfering with the color of the light. Is he up here? Oh, we got more tracks. This has to be it. Come on, buddy, buddy, buddy. Please don't tear my face off. I really like having a face. Oh! Yep, we found him. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Just sitting up here all by yourself, are you? The robot can talk, what? Oh! Hello. Yeah, I'm not your papa. I, I, I think you killed your papa. Oh wow, quite the view. So, uh, you wanna tell me about it? You wanna tell me what happened? You were given life and this beautiful body. What is that, brass and blue steel? And then you decide to kill your papa. It's not very nice. Not very nice at all. Can I turn him off? Pop up, pop up. 
Man, how in the hell did he create you? He must have known how to make a, a, a computer chip of some sort. Or maybe he pulled out a brain of an ape or a human or something and stuck it in here. Yeah, there's a lever on the side. Uh, oh wow, I'm about to die. Hold up. Let me go ahead and have some delicious plain pork. Uh, tell me, Mr. Robot, are you a meat eater? You're definitely a killer robot. I wonder what happens if I shoot him. Uh, okay, I can't shoot him. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, I can! Did I, did I kill him? Oh no, I killed him! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Robot. I mean, technically, it's, it, it's justice. Wild West justice. You killed your papa, and I killed you. Let me go over here, see if I can blow him off the map. There we go! Your father would like this. His final wish was for you to play catch. All right, well, that did absolutely nothing. All right, buddy boy. Uh, I'm gonna leave you here. Have a nice time. Enjoy the view. Quite the view, too. I wonder why he decided to come up here. Maybe he wanted to commit suicide. I guess we'll never know. All right, well, that's the end of uh, Dr. Frankenstein, the mad scientist that created his robot son. And uh, that's the end of the robot that, of course, came to the top of a mountain and died. Or rather, I killed him. Such a sad story. Okay, I'm gonna try to find a, a way down from this very high ledge without killing myself, and then I guess we'll go find some more strangers. Okay, actually, on second thought, I think I'll leave it off there for this episode. We've done so much already. Next time, I'll try and finish up all the stranger encounters if I can, assuming I don't have too many left. Actually, now that I think about it, I was looking at the, uh, the progress, and even though it says that I, uh, I've completed 10 of 10 for the strangers, I think that's only an objective to do 10 of 10, because if I look at the map, it shows that I still have uh, another stranger encounter. And when I looked it up, there's actually several more I haven't done, so I may have actually quite a bit more of these stranger encounters left. So uh, again, leave a comment down below. Should I continue doing the stranger encounters before the finale, or should I do the finale and then go back and complete all the stranger encounters that I haven't done? So yeah, for now, I'm gonna leave it off there. Next time, if you want me to, I'll continue the stranger encounters until I finish them all. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace out.